A life devoted to motor racing. A life devoted to his team, Sir Frank Williams and Formula One. A love story with many highs, but lows as well. At Silverstone, the team from Grove will now be celebrating its 600th Grand Prix since formation in 1977. 600 races is a really remarkable achievement for the team. And they, all, all the people have been here along the way. Should take credit for that. They all played an some important role. Frank's first attempt in 1969 to establish himself with his own team in Formula One failed. Consistency and money were lacking, but Williams remained determined. After selling his first race team in 1976, he gambled everything once again. Along with Patrick Head, then an unknown design engineer, he built up Williams F1. Mainly we've been able to work together for such a long time because we've mainly worked on different sides of the business, with Frank looking at the commercial uh, marketing uh, association with sponsors and partners and me looking after the technical side. The relationship paid off. In 1980, Australian Alan Jones became world champion in a Williams. Further victories and titles followed. Williams always remained independent with no big company backing. Together with engine supplier Renault, the team experienced its best years in the 80s and 90s. Formula One champions such as KK Rosberg, Nigel Mansell and Nelson Piquet brought the team great success. Formula One for many people is something that's quite irresistible, so it's not just that you have to do it, you want to do it. And that is the same for many people who work here. The darkest hours in the team's history. Frank's bad car crash in 86, which left him wheelchair bound. Also never forgotten, Ayrton Senna's death at Imola in 94. The death of Ayrton Senna in one of our cars in 1994, I would say, was, uh, was the most uh, emotional and difficult uh, event uh, to deal with. Since Jacques Villeneuve won the title in 97, Williams has been waiting for another chance. The last race victory and important points were picked up by Pastor Maldonado in Spain last year, coinciding with Frank's 70th. 2013, the worst start to a season in the team's history. Despite a brief glimmer of hope in Canada with Valtteri Bottas third on the grid, the nine-time champion winning team remains pointless. From next season, Williams will be using Mercedes engines. That will shuffle the cards. The aim, at long last, to compete for points and victories again. It's been too long since the last good year.